A Columbus family will be getting what's believed to be the largest wrongful death verdict payment in state history, $787 million. This comes after a two-year-old boy died in 2018 after being wedged in the ladder of a bunk bed. Before covering breaking news, 10TV's Richard Solomon spoke with the family's attorney about this historic case. Dan Mardarski has been in this practice for years, but nothing could prepare him for May 22nd, 2018. It was gut-wrenching. It was horrible. This adorable boy is Josiah Boone. So young and a life full of promise. But on that date, his future snuffed away. There's no way a parent could ever anticipate this hazard. Mordarski says Josiah and his family lived in Columbus. He and his siblings were playing an innocent game of tag. In their bedroom was a bunk bed their mother bought from Wayfair. Josiah ran up into the bunk bed but he got caught between the top step and the rail. He died shortly after from positional asphyxiation. But for this mother to see that, for the two little brothers in the room to see their brother die in front of them, pretty horrible. But what they would find deeper into their investigation, he describes as disturbing. They found the manufacturing company called Moesh Enterprise Company out of Vietnam, Mordarski says they tested out the beds themselves. It violated three major uh, safety standards. There's no reason why that gap should have been in that ladder. No reason. He says immediately they requested the beds to be recalled off the market. And last December, they supposedly were, until he says they found more. That bed was recalled because it killed a little boy, and they just continued to sell it. That, to me, is just reprehensible. And that's what brings us to Tuesday. In the final verdict against the company, the jury awarded Josiah's family possibly the largest wrongful death verdict ever in the state of Ohio of $787 million. Madarski says the family is grateful for the outcome, but a scar will forever be in their hearts for this little boy. The mom told the jury today she doesn't want Josiah, she doesn't want his death to be in vain. And she told the jury she never, ever wants another mom to have to go through what she went through.